Welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to simplify exponents containing multiple mi mixed fractions. So let's start with a simple example. Example. Let's say we have 1, 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2 times 2, 3 over 4 raised to the power of 2. Okay. So let's say we have an example of this kind. We have two mixed numbers, two mixed numbers, and those are in the form of exponents. So let's try to understand this. Understand this. So, uh, step number one. We have two terms here. Let us recognize the first in the first term. In the first term, the base term is one, two over three, and the exponential term is two. For the second term, for the second term, the base term is 2, 3 over 4, and the exponential term is 2. And therefore, we are going to apply the concept. And what is the concept telling us? The concept is telling us that the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is given to us in the exponential term. Therefore, we are going to apply the concept here and then be able to simplify it. So let's write down the problem one more time. 1, 2 over 3 raised to the power of 2 times 2, 3 over 4 raised to the power of 2. We're going to expand the first term 1, 2 over 3 two times. So the way, therefore the way we can write it out is 1, 2 over 3 times 1, 2 over 3. And then, as far as the second exponent is concerned, the base term is 2, 3 over 4, and then we're going to repeat that two times, 2, 3 over 4. Now we are ready to simplify the mixed fractions. How do we simplify the mixed fractions? We're going to take the base of the fraction, multiply it to the number on the side, take the product of that, and then add it to the number on the numerator, like this, 3 times 1 plus 2 divided by 3 and that is the first part and the second one is exactly the same so we go we can write it as 3 times 1 plus 2 divided by 3 and then the second part of it is we go to take the denominator of the fraction multiply to the number on the side which is 4 times 2 plus 3 divided by 4 and then we go to do the same thing for the second part 4 times 2 plus 3 divided by 4 we will simplify the math in here so the way it comes out is 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 divided by 3 and then the same thing comes here because this this fraction is exactly the same as the first one so 3 plus 2 divided by 3 and in the second part here 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 divided by 4 and then this is exactly the same as the previous one 8 plus 3 divided by 4 we're going to simplify the math some more 3 plus 2 is 5 divided by 3 times 3 plus 2 is 5 divided by 3 and then 8 plus 3 is 11 divided by 4 times 8 plus 3 is 11 divided by 4. We take two fractions at a time and then simplify the math some more. 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 3 times 3 is 9. And then 11 times 11 is 121 divided by 4 times 4 is 16. So therefore, we're going to multiply, we're going to do this. 25 times 121 divided by 9 times 16. So what do we have here? 25 times 121 is equal to 3025. And then divided by, this is 0. That's a 0. 9 times 16 is 144, 144 like that. Now, 
3025 divided by 144. The numerator is larger than the denominator and therefore we can express this as a mixed number. This is right now, this is an, in an improper for fraction format. So we want to be able to express it as a mixed number. So we take, we take, uh, we, we're going to simplify this, use the long division, 3025 divided by 144. We use the long division. 144 times 2 is 288 okay and then when we subtract 288 from 302 we are left with uh, 14 and we borrow the 5 here we borrow the 5 so we have 145 144 times 1 is 144 and therefore when we subtract the remainder we're going to get as equal to 1 and therefore when we have, we can express 3025 divided by 144 as a mixed number as 21, 1 over 144. So we can express it as a mixed fraction like that. We can express it as an improper fraction like that. And both the ways of representing it is, is correct. So that is how we're going to simplify an exponent containing multiple mixed fractions, multiple mixed fractions. So let's take another simple example and see how we can solve that problem. Let's say we have an example of this kind. This time, let us say we have negative 1, 2 over 3. The whole thing is raised to the power of 2. And then times 2, 3 over 4 raised to the power of 2. This time, what we have done is, we have taken very, a sim very similar example like the previous one, but this time we have made sure that one of the terms has a negative sign for the base term. Okay, let us try to simplify this. Step number one. For the first term, for the first term, first term, the base term is negative 1, 2 over 3, and the exponential term is 2 and for the second term for the second term the base term is 2 3 over 4 and the exponential term is 2 in step number 2 in step number 2 we're going to recall the concept the concept is telling us that the number of times the base term needs to be repeated is given to us in the exponential term Therefore, we're going to apply the concept here. Let's rewrite the problem one more time. Negative 1, 2 over 3. This whole thing raised to the power of 2 times 2, 3 over 4. This whole thing is raised to the power of 2. So, the first term, the base term is negative 1, 2 over 3. And that is being repeated 2 times. Negative 1, 2 over 3. And then for the second term, the base term is 2, 3 over 4, and that is repeated 2 times. Therefore, we're going to write it 2 times, like that. And now we're going to simplify the math. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Negative 5 over 3 times negative 5 over 3 which is, this is the same as the previous one, so therefore negative 5 over 3, and therefore in this part here, we're going to simplify this, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, divided by 4, and then the second uh, mixed number also converts to an improper fraction as 11 over 4. Now we can simplify the math some more, and then when we do that, we're going to come up with, uh, we can simplify it some more as follows. Negative times negative is a positive. 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 3 times 3 is a 9. We take this and then we want to multiply it to the product of these two fractions. 11 times 11 is 121 and then 4 times 4 is 16. Therefore, positive times positive is a positive. 
25 times 121 is equal to 3025 and then divided by 9 times 16 is 144 like like before we have now arrived at an improper fraction we have now arrived at an improper fraction which is 3025 divided by 144 we can also express this as a mixed number and we, the way to do that is we're going to take 3025 and then do the long division divided by 144 and when we do that we're going to 144 times 2 is 288 288 we subtract 288 from 302 we are left with 14 then we can borrow the 5 here like what we've done before so 144 times 1 is 144 therefore when we subtract we are left with 1 and that 1 is the remainder and therefore we can express this improper fraction as 21 1 over 144 we can also express the same answer as a mixed number as follows so what have we done here we had a we we had exponents which are in multiple mixed fraction format we have uh, we have applied the 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 different steps which we've been talking about in first no step number one we've identified the base term identified the exponential term in the second term we've applied the concept simplified the math and then we were able to express the answer in these two formats one the one format is the improper fraction format and the second format is in the mixed fraction format both ways are both, both ways of representing the answer is correct so in my next presentation we shall see how to simplify exponents containing variable expressions